What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to Detroit Become Human. Moving on to the next chapter now. Last chance, Connor. Oh, it makes me wonder what's about to be going on in here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying this Let's Play so far, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, though, let's get into the chapter. She's going to be pissed, though, Amanda. But it's not Amanda, is it? Because Amanda died. So, is she just an android? I'm not sure. But either way, I was not successful in get gaining information. It's possible that I could end up dying because of it. She could, like, shut me down or something. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. See, if we had antagonized him, he probably would have been like, good, I can't wait to get this thing out of my, ha my hair, you know? But he actually cares about Connor. Connor's his friend. Like, that's huge progress alone. This relationship, I think I like this relationship the best in the entire game. These, these two. I like playing as Connor, because he seems to be the most torn. But also the most able to work things out. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. 
I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Nice. All right, do it. Grab it. Let's run. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Go. I mean, I'd appreciate running. I think he's pretending to be drunk again. Respect. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful from your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. God, he's an asshole. <laughs> I could have punched him out. I should have. That would have been... I mean, I'm sure that was an option, but... The goal is the evidence. Do this. Hank's password. Sumo. It's what Sumo. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. His dog, Sumo. Obviously. Was that it actually? Fucking password? <laughs> Four minutes thirty-two. Here somewhere. How much time? The deviant took a child hostage. Needed for reactivation. Force. Okay. Functional bio components. We need forty-seven one seven. If we don't solve it. Yeah, just, it wasn't anything. I wasn't sure. Jericho. If I could just figure out where this memory was recorded. All right, all right, all right. We're running out of time, fam jams. Literally five minutes. Something has to do with Marcus. Recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? So is that not doing anything? The diary. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. It wouldn't be if we had a certain piece of info. Need the description decryption key. The truth is inside. The truth, the truth is inside. Is inside. K. 
Okay, what else we got? Oh, wait a minute. It's inside the statuette. The statue will break it. Can we break this? Yeah. Because we got this from that dude's... This was from that... Jericho is somewhere in the front nail neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Good. Whose memories? All these guys died. The android that murdered its owner. This is the one that told us that, right? Functional, we need 4717. All right, we'll take that from him. But I'm not sure if it'll work. Where are you going? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Need it for reactivation. 3983V. And... So, 31... Let me see. He doesn't have it. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me. Well, that was a waste. So he can't. So wait, 3983V. Let me go see what this dude is. What does he need? 3983V. That's it. Go. We just have under four minutes. So we could have just taken it from him right away. Because, yeah, he, we, he didn't know enough. It wasn't really a thing. Jericho wasn't really a thing yet. If I tricked him, but he wouldn't have recognized me. So I don't think it would have mattered. Nice, we got it. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! Nice, we managed to get out. Undetected. So if you ran out of time, I'm assuming you would have had to run into them. Oh my god. Connor eluded Perkins, so that would have been something else. I guarantee you right here is I didn't elude Perkins. So let's take a look at the, uh, the list here. Because there was some stuff in the past that we had to find, right? Holy hell. Alright, start. Talk to Amanda. There's two other things I skipped out on by mistake. Jericho's location unknown. So we could have found Jericho's location right away really quickly. We had sufficient evidence. We would have had insufficient if we didn't, like, search enough stuff. Because we killed too many guys, but because we managed to repiece their brains, you know? Because I was nice to dude, you know what I mean? Like, the, the guy who shot or hit his head against the cell, that guy, he gave us the information that it was inside. So we knew where it was. We knew where to go. Hank goes to his desk. We talked to Hank. Perkins, so there's one other thing where he doesn't go to his desk. Hank might have left. Perkins arrives, and there's nothing I can do if trail goes cold. Hank wants to help. Hank punches Perkins. Create a diversion. Take key. Rush to basement. 
Gavin yells. It was Gavin who's being a douche. My bad. I was thinking of Perkins. Um, answer calmly. Gavin is convinced. Otherwise, he wasn't convinced, and he probably would have showed up earlier. That's my guess. Guess Hank's password, which we did. Unlock the evidence. Killed in public enemy. Simon's body. So Simon, Simon could have got away, right? And we wouldn't have had that information. We wouldn't have been able to find it. Died in previous scenes. Body of Carlos's android. Yeah, that one. Information in public enemy. Use friendly approach in the interrogation. Daniel's body. So we missed out on one piece of evidence that we didn't do. This one was pretty low. We had his brother. There's tons of evidence you could have had. Reactivate Simon. Interrogate Simon. Which became a dead end, but it could have been good. Retrieve map. Daniel's body. So we could have found something from Daniel's body. Anyway, link map to other evidence. It worked out. So we, even though we didn't have everything, we managed to find it. Leave the basement. Connor looted Perkins. Otherwise, Perkins... Perkins would have seen us and probably attacked us. And then either way, we would have beaten Perkins or we wouldn't have. And we would have been killed. That's my guess. That's an insane one. Lots going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this chapter. Last chance, Connor. I'm glad we got it. We ended up getting a trophy there uh, that says we brought all three characters to Crossroads. So I'm assuming we managed to get everybody to survive. And you can see Crossroads is the next chapter. So... I'm assuming we did everything right to keep each android alive. There were a few chances that they could have died, obviously. I'm assuming Marcus could have died in that sacrifice moment in, uh, in Freedom March, but it's hard to say exactly. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danku8000, Instagram, danku8k, and Snapchat. Thank you, 8,000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. If you want to save 10% of your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code thank you 8,000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's add things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need spoiling and hit Q, 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style and style. Dan, goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back if they ain't vibing. Lie with that, got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to Bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn Q. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out.